They called it Birkenau, for the birch trees. It's near the Polish town of Auschwitz, at a crossroads of Europe. In German, the town is pronounced Auschwitz. And this is what's left of the biggest Nazi death camp. More than three million people were murdered here, most of them Jews. Jack Garfine came here when he was 13 and survived. The idea was to take everything from us. I mean, here I was, I could say that that night, Eric, I, it was the book of Job, right? Everything was taken away from me. Everything I had, everything I loved. But my cousin who I was in love with, who was 12 years old, Varela, my mother, my sister, my grandmother, my grandfather, I was left alone and naked. At 23, just eight years after being freed from a concentration camp, Jack Garfine was producing plays in New York. He discovered George Papard, Steve McQueen, Ben Gazzara. Carol Baker became his wife. As a producer, part of his skill is attention to detail, plus a certain zest for life and its little absurdities. You should be comfortable, you should read a little paper. Garfine was 15 years old and weighed 48 pounds when the British found him on the edge of death in the concentration camp at Belsen. I'm going to come right through here. He'd ended up there because at Auschwitz, the Nazis spared him for slave labor. Okay, like that, and then... A distant relative brought him to America. His first assignment in the New York school system an essay on how I spent my summer okay. vacation. <laughs> Garfine had been through 11 concentration camps, marched across Europe laying railway track for the Germans. Perhaps because of that experience, his work in New York and in Hollywood has been with fantasy. The production of joy. Garfine lived as though his life had not begun until New York. Until this year, he wanted to go back and understand more about his past. 